Welcome to the CAD Office Training Guide Series for F.Connect. I'm Matt Sexton, CAD Application Support Coordinator. Today I'll be going through the F.Connect CAD Essentials Training Guide. In this video series, I will take you step by step through each exercise in the training guide. Today we'll be going over Chapter 5 Levels. This chapter focuses on the following topics. Setting the active level, level libraries, level manager, and level display. A design file is made with basic building blocks called elements that are placed on a design plane within each model. Each element placed in a model is on a drawing level. Levels are analogous to transparent overlays which can be combined in different ways to visualize different parts of a model. When creating a design, the user can use many levels to organize drawing information intelligently. Each level can have its own color, style, and weight, along with a number of other attributes. These attributes together are called symbology. FDOT has adopted a bi-level system utilizing FDOT standard level libraries that define discipline-specific levels and associated color, style, and weight symbology. For the production of all FDOT projects, these standard level libraries are locked and cannot be modified by the user. ORD provides for the management and display options for levels through Level Manager, Level Filters, and Level Display tools. FDOT has utilized these options in the setup of their CAD standards as discussed in the following sections. While a design file has many levels available to the user, only one level is open for modification at any given time. This open level is referred to as the active level. All elements are created on the active level. It is important to change the active level to the desired level before placing elements. The level an element resides on may be changed later, but the best practice is to create it on the desired level to start with. The active level is the same in all views. The following are ways to set the active level. The easiest way to set the active level is to click the active level combo box on the attributes group of the ribbon under the home tab. Click the active level combo box to display available levels. Choose the desired level to be set as the active level. From the Level Display dialog, the user can also set the active level. Simply click the Level Display icon in the primary group. The active level is highlighted in the level list and can be changed by double-clicking on any other level or by right-clicking on the desired level and select Set Active from the pop-up menu. From the Level Manager dialog, the user can also set the active level. You can access the Level Manager dialog from the Primary group on the Home ribbon or by clicking on the active level on the status bar. Once again, double clicking on the desired level sets it active or right clicking and selecting Set Active from the pop-up menu. Note, if you're using civil geometry drawing tools which are discussed in the 2D design training, selecting a feature definition from the feature menu on the tool settings dialog will place new elements on the appropriate level. However, it will not change the active level set in the attributes toolbox. Level Libraries. An Open Roads Designer level library refers to a component of a DGN library that contains a level structure, that is, one or more level definitions. New level libraries can be created 
and new and existing level libraries can be attached, detached, imported, and exported using the Level Manager dialog. A level definition does not technically attach from the level library to a design file until it is used. FDOT has created standard FDOTDGN libraries, or DGN libs, within FDOT Connect to store FDOT standards for cells, levels, level filters, line styles, multi-line styles, text styles, dimension styles, element templates, menu customizations, customized tools, toolboxes, and tasks. Each f.dgn lib contains data that is shared throughout files and among users. When a design file is open in the f.workspace in ORD, the corresponding f.standard level libraries are automatically attached with preset f.standard filters activated. Only the valid levels from the attached libraries associated with the specific active design file are displayed for use. Each f.standard defined in a design library, DGN lib, is identified by a unique level name. When used from a DGN lib, it is copied into the active design file and given the same name. This allows for comparison of the local resource to the f.dgn lib resource for compliancy to f.cad standards. The standard f.level libraries define the CAD levels for each discipline with the associated bi-level color bi-level line style, and bi-level line weight symbology. Designers are to use these standard f.levels levels to assign each element within f.cad design files. The f.levels levels and symbology are grouped and translated into specific QC rules, which are associated to each valid standard file name of each discipline for the purpose of performing the quality control check for f.standard standard compliancy of design files. When using f.connect, and OpenRoads Designer to create an F dot drawing, the color, line style, and line weight attributes should be set to by level. This setting allows the level to control these active attributes. This ensures that the levels comply with F dot standards. F dot levels are predefined and delivered in specific DGN lib files. F dot does not recommend overriding the by level settings. To do so would result in non-standard design files that would not be acceptable in f.project project submittals. Additionally, when drawing using the civil geometry tools, selecting the appropriate feature definition for an element is the recommended method to ensure that the element meets both bi-level compliancy as well as having the correct feature information. This will be covered in a later training guide. Level filters. OpenRose Designer can be filtered at any time to make only specific levels within a level library available during the design process. FDOT utilizes the OpenRoads Designer level filters to combine level definitions within the FDOT level libraries into filter groups. FDOT created a filter group called Standards that match the FDOT standard rule files. Each standard subfilter is associated with an FDOT standard file name. When a design file with an f.standard standard file name is opened in OpenRoads Designer, only the f dot levels approved for use in that design file are displayed for selection. As mentioned earlier, these level filters can be turned off and on from the f dot ribbon. Level Manager is used to control level display and level symbology for the OpenDGN file and attached references. By default, the Level Manager includes a list of models, levels, and filters on the left and a detail section of levels on the right. Multiple design files and or reference attachments can be selected from the tree by holding the left mouse button and dragging the cursor over the desired files. The levels for all selected files display in the level list. As previously stated, FDOT has established and delivers standard CAD symbology levels within a set of DGN lives. FDOT's workspace disables the level manager's modification creation functions and does not allow users to create, delete, import, or export levels to ensure consistency in products submitted for FDOT projects. Every level needed for creating FDOT drawings should already exist, including miscellaneous levels for scratch drawing. If a new level is desired, a request must be submitted to be addressed through the CAD Technical Advisory Committee of the appropriate discipline.
the Level Manager is accessed by selecting the Level Manager icon from the primary section of the home ribbon. In the pane to the left of the dialog, the Level Manager displays the active design file, model with all references, and all levels attached and used within the open design file, and all filters available for use by the user. FDOT has developed many filters from the various level libraries to match the FDOT CAD standards and delivers them with the FDOT CAD software. Upon opening, any FDOT standard file name within the FDOT workspace, an associated standard level filter will be automatically applied, displaying only those levels valid for that active design file. The filter function can be disabled and or utilized by the user to further customize other filters to best aid the design process. As previously stated, FDOT associates each FDOT standard file name with a standard filter. This listing displays the attributes and properties of individual levels allowed for selected file or reference. The highlighted level indicates the active level. Bolded items represent levels that have been used within the design file. The listing can be sorted by double-clicking any of the titles. The columns in the listing can be customized by right-clicking on the title bar or unchecking available options. So you see, just like a Windows dialog, you can sort by name any of these columns. And you can select what columns are displayed. Level Manager has a right-click pop-up that the user can use to set the active level or jump to the active level and view properties. Level Display. The Level Display dialog can be accessed from the primary group on the Home ribbon. The Level Display dialog provides the ability to turn on and off levels in a model and to apply filters created in the Level Manager dialog. This dialog can be accessed from the primary section of the Home ribbon. Note the down arrow next to the icon allows level display to open in a pop-up mode and automatically close when the cursor is moved away from the dialog. Let's talk about the different buttons on the level display dialog. Apply to open views. If on, level display settings adjusted will be applied to all the open views. Apply to selected views. If on, level display settings will be applied to just the selected view. Change level. This opens the change level tool used to display or lock a level. Show Target Tree. This changes the display of the target tree used to set the target mode for level display settings, changes, or sets the model as a target. List Filter. This option will allow the user to set a filter named or defined on the fly applied to level display. Show Level Name or Filters. This determines the contents of the list box. Currently, we're displaying the levels. This display shows the filters. Dialog Properties. This pops up a level display dialog used to set the properties of the level display dialog. Levels List Box. This lists the levels in the target model. This listing has the same display, sorting, and function capabilities as Level Manager. Right clicking on the title bar, opens a pop-up menu to customize the list display columns with the following options. Name, 
library, number, description, file, logical, color, style, weight, material, lock, plot, used, elements, new level. And just like level display, levels can be sorted using these column headings. Right-clicking within the list box brings up a pop-up menu that allows you to set active level, jump to active level, turn on and off all the levels, or invert the levels that are on and off. Working with levels. Changing attributes. The Change Attributes tool is accessed by selecting the icon from the Modify group of the Drawing tab on the Open Roads Modeling ribbon. Once an element is placed, the level on which it has been drawn, or the symbology with which it was drawn, can be changed if necessary. One tool that can be used to change the level on which an element is placed, or the attributes with which it was placed, is the Change Attributes tool. From the Change Element Attributes tool setting dialog, the user can control what properties of an element's symbology are changed. Use Active Attributes. If on, Active Attributes are affected when the user changes or matches attribute settings. If off, the Active Attribute settings are not affected when the user changes or matches attribute settings. Let's take a look at that. I'll use the Match Element Attributes eyedropper and select an element. Notice that not only has this dialog populated with those attributes, but the active attributes have changed up here in the Attributes group. Let's select the eyedropper again. Once again, the attributes have changed, and the dialog has changed. If I disable this, use the eyedropper, the dialog has changed, but the active attributes have not. Selecting the checkbox will then populate the dialog with whatever the current active attributes are. Let's take a look at the rest of the dialog. Level. If this is on, level is included when changing or matching settings. Color. If on, color is included when changing or matching settings. Style. If style is on, the line style will be affected when changing or matching settings. As well as weight, transparency, priority, class, which includes primary and construction, template, Class, which includes primary and construction. Additional checkboxes include Make Copy. If this is on, the elements are copied and attributes of copies are changed, but the original attributes of the original element are not changed. Change Entire Element change whole element. If on, the attributes for the entire element are changed. Exercise 5.1 Reviewing Level Manager Launch f.connect for Open Roads Designer by either clicking on the desktop icon or selecting the shortcut from the desktop folder. Select the f.workspace, select the training data set, and browse to the Roadway subfolder. Locate DSGN RDO1. From the primary section of the Home tab on the Open Roads Designer ribbon, select the Level Manager icon. The CAD software delivery includes an f.workspace with a preset level library that is locked, disallowing the user from creating new levels. Also included are preset f.connect level filters that are automatically associated to all f.standard files. 
From Level Manager, move the cursor to hover over the File List icon. Note the standards filter, DSGNRD, that has been automatically associated and displayed. Select the down arrow to open up the pop-up listing and then scroll to the top to select None. The Level List pane updates with all available levels from the level libraries attached to the design file. Note, not all levels are embedded into the design file, only the levels used displayed in bold in the Level Manager. From the Level List, click on the column titled Used to sort all the levels used within the design file to the top of the list. The title may have to be toggled twice as the list can be sorted ascending and descending. These are all the used levels that are used within this design file. Scroll down. Now right click and select Jump to Active Level from the pop-up menu. Notice Level Manager jumps up to the active level. From the Filters List pane to the left of the window, expand the Filters section by clicking on the plus. Expand the Standards section by clicking on the plus next to the parent level filters. Select the DSGNRD filter to display the F. Standard levels that are allowable for use in the current active design file. Exercise 5.2 Setting the Active Level. Continuing with DSGNRD01 and Level Manager, from the Attributes tools located on the ribbon, set the active level to curb back. Note, in Level Manager, the active level is now displayed as Curb Back. In Level Manager, double-click on the level Curb Face. Curb Face is now the active level. Finally, right-click on the Pavement Asphalt level and select Set Active from the right-click pop-up menu. Pavement Asphalt is now the current active level. You can close Level Manager and exit Open Roads Designer. Thank you for joining us today for F.CAD Essentials for F.Connect and Open Roads Designer.